Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to export out of PowerPoint as a movie file. We've previously done videos on how to narrate in PowerPoint uh, so you can have a lecture capture or a screen capture. We can now do an export as a movie. So if our PowerPoint, say our PowerPoint is ready, we've got couple of slides here as a demonstration purposes we're going to go to file we're going to go to export and we're going to export we're going to change the file format from pdf to either mp4 or mov now mov is going to be a larger file so we're going to do an mp4 we're going to select mp4 we're going to leave all this set to the right times uh, if you had recordings on your slides, like narration, it will, you, this box will be ticked saying use recorded timings and narrations if we had voiceovers. Now, we don't on this slide because it's only demonstration, but if you did, this box will automatically be ticked. You can up this time to eight seconds. I feel five seconds on a slide is probably too long if you've got quite a lot of text on it. The eight seconds may be long enough. You can change the title. We're going to select desktop on ours for our saving, and we're just going to save its presentation one. For testing purposes really and we're going to press export now you may think oh it's done what do i do now or what's going on if you look down the bottom here it says powerpoint is converting your powerpoint slide into an mp4 so once this blue bar is done your slide on your desktop will be converted into a movie so let's just find powerpoint one on our desktop somewhere it's there, presentation one. So that's currently converting. That says the file is not ready to be used yet. When the file was ready, it will turn into a MP4 or .mov, whatever we set it to. Now that PowerPoint is not showing any conversion at the bottom, it means that your slide is ready to go. Your movie, sorry, is ready to go. So our movie is here. If you press spacebar on a Mac, it will play it automatically in preview. If not, you double click on it on your PC or double click on it on your Mac and it will open in either one or several plays you've got, Windows Media Player, QuickTime Player or VLC. So we're just going to do a quick demonstration and here's our slide. It should just flick through automatically to the next one after eight seconds. And as you can see, there you go. You can see the timer across the bottom going along. Our slide is in total. Our slide is... 32 seconds because of the eight seconds per slide and we've got a couple of slides there you go thanks for watching don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates thanks again goodbye